One of the most remarkable achievements of the 1960s was the expansion of democracy fully in the United States, the extension of meaningful voting rights to everybody. We're the world's oldest democracy, and we're proud of that. But in reality, it was just a promise at the beginning. It didn't become anything close to a reality until 1965. When you look at the ways that the right to vote was restricted, the poll tax, literacy tests, violence, beatings, and it led to an almost complete disenfranchisement of millions of people before 1965. The drive for voting rights that led to the legislation is one of the greatest campaigns in American history. It's not a military campaign, it's not a political campaign, but it sort of has elements of both of those. Dr. King and John Lewis and the others understood that they were in the right and that they were going to be met by brute force and injustice. And what television enabled them to do was to let the whole country see what was happening. From the moment they marched on the Edmund Pettus Bridge to the moment Lyndon Johnson went before Congress and proposed the Voting Rights Act was a little more than a week. And during that time, the outpouring of outrage about the beatings and the brutality by law enforcement on that bridge created a national movement. For a long time, the Voting Rights Act and the victories that it won sort of seemed like they were for the history books. They were, it was settled, it was, it was not particularly interesting. But in the last 10 or 15 years, there's been a focused and fierce push to restrict voting rights and to make it harder for so many Americans to vote. We thought it was really important to not just have a kind of a romanticized, hazy nostalgia about what happened, but to recognize the fights of 1965 in many ways are the fights we're having right now.